Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is going to be a craft revival video where I go back in time, find some really old crafts from years ago and try to revive them. Now we have a uh, we have a, a rover that I actually want to take a look at and it's called the Mud Dog. And it's back in 2014? 15? Back in 2017. Yeah, 2017. Wow, that was a long time ago, huh? Oh, hey! That actually looks cool! That actually looks cool! Oh, look at that! That's a rover from hell! Look at that shit! That is cool! See, we got the top lamp up there. It's got seats. It's actually pretty wide. It's actually pretty roomy. I mean, it needs a little bit of tweaking because it's all out. It's kind of all out of whack, but you can tell it was meant for like a low gravity moon because it's got freaking uh, Vernor engines to keep it planted on the ground or even lift it up. Oh wait, it's got batteries under here. Oh, that's cool. So underneath, it's got a whole bunch of batteries, kind of like a Tesla, and its engine is actually in front with the fuel cells. Like a car. That that is too cool. I I love that already. That, that is looking so cool right now. <laughs> oh, I, I want to play with it. I'm gonna play with it. I'm gonna make it go boom boom. But first, before I play with it, we need to go ahead and tune it up. Bring it into the modern era. No longer 2017. You shall be 2021. Okay, now we're gonna test out the mud dog and its element on the moon in the trenches of Agara. Well, actually, it's, it's just a, a Grand Canyon of sorts. But basically, what I do is I actually do this, by the way. I test out my rovers on the moon by going through this canyon. And depending on how far the rover can get before it flips out and it gets destroyed, will depend on how good it is. I do not use big, giant, stupid, unrealistic reaction wheels, just Vernor thrusters or RCS thrusters, and of course, the layout of the friction control, traction control, and all that of the tires and suspension in order to make a good rover that's so somewhat grounded realistically without having the magical reaction wheels be able to just, you know, control everything. So. Here we go. The longest I've ever gotten is about midway. So let's see how far we can get with this guy. A gun! Again. Again. Again! Again! 
again. Well, that's all I have time for today. It got pretty far. I will say it's, it's it's gotten farther than what I remember ever getting in my uh, in my experiences in building a moon rover or a low gravity world rover or anything like that. Anyway, so yeah, um, if you want to actually test out your own rover in this in this uh, part of space and on, on this part of the moon, I'll zoom out for you so you can get kind of a good idea where it's at, and you can go ahead and test out your own rover in this in this uh in this uh, canyon here we go yeah canyon right is that the right word for it gully i don't know anyway so love you all please take care and i will see you all in the next video remember don't use any cheaty big giant reaction wheels uh just just some thrusters rcs is fine but uh yeah see you all then bye bye i really like this design by the way Really looks nice, especially with, um, especially with restock. Very, very nice. Muy, 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 muy nice.